Okay, so this is Paddy, he's just coming out, he's a funny little pony. If you just watch his shadow here in this telegraph pole, it makes me laugh. He just has a look and thinks, oh, I better jump there. <laughs> anyway, he was the one who was sent here um, because he'd bolted when some cyclists come past. So what I've done today is I've left um, the bridging off. So he had long bridging on as though he was in a pair. The reason I've done that, one, I've got um, brakes on the vehicle. Anyway, you know, it's one of the latest vehicles, new vehicles. So it has the disc brakes all around. But the other reason I'm doing it is so I can leave all that strapping that you can see going up your side makes quite a bit of noise when it's going on. It's my belief that this pony actually wasn't frightened of bikes. It's my belief that he was more frightened of the noise of the bikes. Now that's very hard to um, to recreate. When they're changing gears on these racing bikes that they have, and um, as the gears change, the pedaling, the very bright clothing, that type of thing. So you can see we've got a bike here now. Now I don't do anything. I just let the reins just bring him over a little bit, let the rein slack. And that's the first one we see. And the reaction is no different. This is a very inquisitive pony. If you watch his head all the time, he's having a look. Not that he's afraid, but he's nosy. So when we come up here, for instance, we're coming up to this junction. And I want to go straight on underneath that pub sign. So I'm going straight on, not following the road round. And uh, he's having a look. He's not worried. I should bring him over here a bit. Let's see. <laughs> No, you're not going up there, you're coming down here. Are we? Are you sure? You know, that sort of attitude. <laughs> he makes me laugh. Yeah. So people walking about, etc. In general, he's okay. So we've seen our first bike, and I think you can agree, no real reaction. Um, we obviously, it's very, very hard to find, you know, a, a lot of bikes in one place going they do, they do come round where we live quite often but it's just you know finding out when they're coming etc so on this we see a few bikes but you see this little pony he's all the time just having a little look but he's not slowing his pace he's not it's just oh what's this here oh i've got to look over here now. this is a, a little bit busier road it's not really a, a main road i think it's an a road and that's a b one we just come off of so we're going up here so as I say, you can see all them straps and that flopping about on him. We've got some nice, these little marks in the road. Can you see? Oh, this one just coming over now, he didn't take any notice of. Some paint on the road there, someone's left something. Instructions. There, coming over this slow sign now. Everything's nice. So another time I will put the bridging on the horse and maybe add some metal rings on the bridging to make a noise, um, that type of thing. Although I don't think it's necessary with this one, I can see now since all that's been flapping around on him, he's really very, very good, you know. It's not a problem at all. And as I say, with the reins, I can give him a tap like that, give him a tap like that. Yes, it's uncouth, it's not what you should do, it's not what's, you know, you should, that's why you carry a whip. But basically what I want to do is, as I said to you, I can have those reins nice and slack down his side but he did have this little thing where he'd he'd think about the reins on him you could see just his ears move what are you doing you know what's that touching me so you'll see me tapping with the reins and you'll see me you know let the reins go very slack down his side as i say and you will you know all of this is so we're not only doing one thing looking for bikes you know which is obviously his main problem but we're sorting out these other little little things very inquisitive pony always looking about him all the time um, but never slows his pace so obviously he's not too disturbed by what he sees around him he, he keeps his pace up you see that you just have a look over there terribly nosy oh, we come past here the other day and there was some cattle in this field and he went virtually the length of this road looking at him you know and the cattle then started running down the fence line, following him, and he didn't take any notice of that. He's just surprised by that van because the car went past him. 
I'm going to start him to can and air and shake them all bits and pieces up the side of him. You know, the long bridging, etc. But he's a lovely little pony, and I think we've, you know, we've got this sorted. The other thing when you're doing is. It's very hard to tell somebody to sit there and be quiet, but what a lot of people do, if you've got a problem, say for instance, this, these slow signs on the road, or markings like this on the road, the horse didn't like, what a lot of people do is tense up, start talking to the horse and saying to him, steady now, steady, they're coming up, oh, be careful, be careful. That's not what horse wants, because you're telling him it's a problem. Yeah. So if you don't tell him it's a problem, so you don't have any reaction, you don't create a reaction in the pony. And it's very hard to do, and it takes a lot of experience. But if you see, I just drive in with a slack rein. I've just lifted the reins up there. Um, just completely slack rein, no, no contact with his mouth whatsoever. I'm just showing you by lifting them like that, you can see there is no... And we're coming up here now, over this bridge, and then we're going to turn left once we get over, back into another lane, a quieter road. Not because we're worried about taking them or taking them, you know, down in every traffic, you wouldn't worry about that. But um, there's another bike now, it's a nice one, coming round the, the bend, you know, sort of out the blue, and he's had no reaction to it. And that was one like a mountain bike, and their tyres on that when they come past can make quite a noise, you know, them big knobbly tyre things when they're pedalling past and the chain grinding away. But he's fine, so we're skipping along here, lovely. And he's as happy as a little pony can be. It always amazes me, I know I keep saying it, but how fast they can go for their tiny little legs. And he's not being driven on. And you can see there, I'm dropping both reins down one side of him. Everything I do on a carriage is done for a reason. They're just laying there like that on one quarter of him and let him fall down the side and, and that type of thing. So he's feeling that all over his quarters and I'll swap it over, put one. So everything I do, so, you know, someone will say, well, you've got no bridging on that pony. Oh dear, well, it doesn't matter because I've got the brakes, so I don't require a bridging to stop him. Um, point two is those straps you can see like them trace carriers are up in the air they'll be flapping and making a noise and he'll be feeling it up the side of him because i noticed he was a little bit funny that can be the reason he can be a little bit funny with the harness you know touching him making a noise um although he was already in and driving when he the you know when he bolted obviously he was in and driving then but what else i've done see again i just put them reins up lift them off his back drop them down and let him keep feeling them. So although I'm out looking for uh, bikes, um, etc., it doesn't stop me giving him a, several lessons while we're going. But absolutely amazes me the power of Shetland Pony. They'll skip along no trouble at all. Um, I'm just going to ask him to... Uh, that's it, lovely. So... A real nice little chap he is, smashing little pony. I'll just let him walk up this bit. It will keep him straight because he thinks, oh, well, I've got up here now. If you look, he turns his head that way. I've never been up that road with him at all, ever. And it's a very steep hill. So he's not looked at that and think, oh, I definitely don't want to go up there. He's, he's up to, you know. So off we go again. Up that bit of a climb there. The reason I walked him up there and just straightened him up, that road is quite slippery there. There's a portion of it that they um, relayed some time ago and it's quite smooth. So he's just skipping on. I've got no real contact with him at all. And the pony's, you know, happy to go. Obviously, I'm not pushing him down the hill. I can use my brakes if need be, you know, to steady it. So, yeah, you know, look at them beans. You see, he's not really concerned about anything. He never slows his pace when he sees something. He's just a bit inquisitive. I hope my rain's nice and there's me hand in the way. <laughs> but he's a lovely little pony. 
He's got it rubbed on his towel now, so he's just laying amongst his top part of his towel. So as I say, we've got everything nice and loose on him. His harness all flapping about, tapping his sides. Everything. I noticed, as I say, just at the risk of repeating myself, I noticed when I first put his harness on, and very first drove him, he was a little bit funny about, you know, the harness touching him on the side, etc. the shelves a little bit. That can come from when he ran away, you know, out of fear. It could come from there, so that's the reason he's got no bridging. Then we'll put bridging on. Well, he's already had bridging on, but we can, we can you know, put the bridging straps on onto the shelves. We can add some jingling of metal rings, you know, anything like that. But I know that won't be of any concern. It doesn't concern me at all. But a lovely, lovely little pony. Also, this cart we've got, we, we just had um, made for these Shetlands, you know, for doing the small ponies. And we had it made the way we want it. And you can see the shelves are very wide, but it's actually got two sets of shelves that you can you can change. So you can have some narrow ones and these big wide ones that the pony can turn in comfortably. So it's just coming past the shop, the dog there. It's good. That road markings there, obviously, I just turned his head towards that to see if there was any reaction. But someone's written on the road, you know, they've got to change a manhole cover or whatever. But you can see him just going along and he's he's happy pony. And for a pony that's run away due to you know, strange noises, we've given him as many noises as we can. It's surprising how much noise that harness makes. I know I keep on about it, but it's slap, slap, slap on the side of him all the time, touching him, tickling him. You see that man over there, he's got no concern about anything at all, really. But the main thing is to find some bikes. So we've had, don't we? we've had two now that we've seen. What we're going along, that's lovely. Sometimes you'll get someone, you know, when you're up a country road like this and you get someone walking along on the road, being that there's no pavement as such, often also swing out wide because what you're doing there, because it's not what they expect, you know, you're on the road, you should be on a pavement. Why are you there, you know, carrying a plastic bag, etc.? Sometimes they can just be around people. But this little fella, no, he's fine coming round by the church now. You see that red bit of brickwork there, someone painted red on it so people don't knock into the men's bit of brickwork. A lot of horses that we have that we drive around there, just that little red square, they prick their ears up, look at it, you know, lift their heads, think, what's that, you know? Oh my God, what's that doing there? I see where we go here, yeah, we've got a cyclist coming, that's lovely. Beautiful. I'll we'll just see how it is. Nice bright tops on him. And I get him to wave and he's got a flappy coat. No reaction. And that's lovely. And I've got the reins hanging down as loose as you like. You know, either side of him there. And you can see that rein keep bouncing off his side. Another bit touching him. He was a little bit funny, as I say, with the harness just touching him up the side. So the more we do that, the better it is. And I'm very confident with him, you know, I'm not restraining him. If he wanted to run at any time, he certainly could. You know, because he's not being held back, he's not got a heavy contact on his mouth. He's just going sweet. So this is what we call the long block. When we leave out, we have, you know, several different ways we can go. But I think this trip in total is about four and a half miles, coming towards five miles in total by the time we get back home. And he'll go along there as happy as a lock. And I've not driven him on at all or, or pushed him on. I've tapped him with the reins, but that's only part of his training, as I said. Um, I could have one of my bumping sticks on there if I wanted to. You know, I've used that on him as well, which is a different feeling to the reins. So when you're out, you've got loads of opportunities to educate your horse further.
Now by that I mean shadows on the road, yeah? Manholes, repairs done on the road. They all change the color and the look of the road surface, yeah? So coming through all these shadows here, they only look like, you know, to a horse, they're different and they're constantly changing. And if it's very bright like this speckly bit here, all good training, people don't think of that. And obviously, we try and put them through all any possible anything that we can use whilst we're out driving. We use anything at all. So obviously, marks on the road when they've written on the road because they're going to do some sort of repair. We'll do that. Um, dustbin day is a lovely day to go out for us. A lot of people avoid it apparently, or I've heard it said that people avoid it. This one's a good just here on the left hand side. This three big two young labradors and one old one in there and they do run up at the fence and bark and and thing that's lovely so obviously you know you know where you live you know your own surrounding but use all them surroundings to enhance the horse's training basically that's what i'm saying so you see no reaction to that big man at all no reaction to the car he'll still have a look around if there's something he wants to look at but he won't alter pace that's that's the thing you know if he was slowing up and, and looking he's looking across there now i think what he's looking at across over that side is not so much what he's looking at but he can hear cattle over the far side um so that's just got his attention so his ears go a bit but with this basic traffic no problem at all he's keeping his line he's keeping his speed up um Real good little fella he is, I like this pony. Well, I like them all really, they're all lovely and they're in their own right. I like, you know, the ones that have little problems like this that you can get over is quite rewarding. Well, it's very rewarding, there's a lovely one there. She's coming past with all her gears, no reaction at all, perfect. And I think, um, I'm just coming up now, we're gonna turn right in front of this cottage, it's just been rethatched. And we're going to turn right in front of that and from this point here we're a mile from home so we've turned around that corner there and uh let's see how we go this one signs a nice one and we've got a couple of more bikes there see that's good nice bright colored shoes on now i'll mention that because they do wear some of these real bright shoes these cyclists or cycle you know shoes whatever they're called and they're bright, so and obviously their feet are whizzing round, and it looks like Catherine will a bit, you know, if they're bright orange or yellow or lime green, I saw the other day, and you can see, always look at them, think, oh, you know, just something different, something out of the ordinary, that, you know, they're going to pick up on. But I just think it, you know, I think we've done our job, he's back before, if he'd have seen them bikes before, he would have been uptight, he would have been wanting to turn around, he wouldn't have wanted to go on. But if you look at it and study the film, at no point does he slow up for the bikes. At no point does he speed up. So therefore, they cannot be affecting the way the horse or the pony is reacting. They're not making him react in any particular way. So, you know, that's lovely. But it is surprising, isn't it? You can see that rain hanging right down there, right sort of up the side of his tail. That feels different to the pony. And I'll give him a little tap up with this side and then I'll do. But I know that, you know, people say that's, you know, you shouldn't you know, really use your reins to tap the horse. And what I'm doing is, because what will happen in the future when this pony's driven, anybody who's driving it will make a mistake um, and the rain will come down on his quarters, up his side, somewhere around his tail, close into his dock around his tail and could startle him, yeah, could make him think. So by doing that, he, he copes with it perfectly well. You know, he's not worried. As I say before, he was a little bit, just seemed a little bit uptight to me when the harness touch him on the side. That can be due to the fact that he run off and then of course all the harness would be slapping him and like that and 
and it could bring back their memories. So you've got to try and find out every mortal thing you can and test everything you can to, you know, to get it right. So here we are back home. So lovely drive, nice slack rain. He's not running on. He does know that's home now because he's been here a little while. But no, he's just handling it really well. So that's that lesson over. And no reaction to bikes. Yeah, real nice little pony. So good exercise. <laughs>